In this video I'm going to create a react.js hello world app, um, make some minor changes to it, then deploy the app to the Heroku online hosting platform so that it's available on the internet. I'm going to use Visual Studio Code as the development environment, so make sure you've got this installed. Uh, I'll put the links to any downloads in the video description. Also you'll need to make sure Node.js is installed. If you're unsure if Node.js is installed on your machine, you can open a command prompt from within VS Code and type node-v, which should tell you the version. So if it's not installed, then you can go to uh, nodejs.org and install the latest version. So within VS Code, uh, I'm going to change to a directory that I've created for these React projects. And once there, I'm going to run the command that create web app. So that's npx create react app and then the app name. So for this I'll just call it react um, hello world, react hello world, okay, and hit enter. So once the app is created, I'll change to the directory. So that was react hello world. And then I'll do an npm start, which will run the web app in a, locally in a browser. OK. So I'll make a minor change, or one or two minor changes, to the uh, the app. I'll open the folder first of all in VS Code. There we are. I'm going to make the change. In, well, the first change in app.js. And here I'm just going to make a very simple change, uh, just to call it a React. Hello world up. Save that and we should see the uh, so let's see the change has been made there. And I might just change the background, otherwise it's sort of not contrasting very well with VS Code. So for that I'll go into app.css and I'll change the background colour to let's just say teal. Save that, and let me see, the change has been made. Uh, so now I want to prepare the locally hosted app for deployment to Heroku. Uh, the first thing I need to do is create a server JS file in the root of the project. This creates an Express JS server that can serve the production build. So I'll go ahead and create that here, new file. Server.js. Now there are 16 lines of code to the JS file, so I'll paste them in to save time, but I'll add the code to the video description so you can grab it for yourselves. Paste that in. Save that. Um, once that's done and saved, uh, we'll also need to use the following command to add uh, express to the dependencies. So we'll do that. I'll just cancel this, control C, and npm add express express five icon path. Okay, so once that's done, 
uh, I think the final step is to go into the package.json file and we need to edit the script section to reflect the node server.js. So our scripts and start, so instead of react script start, we want to overwrite that with node server.js. Save that. After that, we want to do a production build. So from the command prompt, we need to npm run build. Okay. Uh, so once that's completed, we can configure the Heroku side of things. In order to deploy to Heroku, you'll need a Heroku account, and you can find that at signup.heroku.com. Uh, you can create a free account, you don't need to pay for it. Uh, so once that's done, you can then log in. Uh, I've already got a Heroku account, so once I've logged in, I can see the dashboard. So in the Heroku dashboard, click New, and then create new app, then just give it a name. So we'll just call this React Hello World. In fact, yeah, Hello World. That's uh, not available, so we'll just put in okay. React Hello World 2133, create app. Um, You may need to install the Heroku CLI. Um, you can do that by following this link. Once the CLI has been installed, you go back to VS Code and you basically follow these steps here. So Heroku, Heroku login uh, and then create the new Git repository and then deploy the application. So we'll go through these steps. So Heroku login. And this will open up a browser that allows you then to just put in your credentials. So once you go back to VS Code, it should say logged in as whoever. So we want to do a git init. Uh, we want to do a Heroku git remote command. Hello world 2133. I want to do a git add, then a commit, initial commit. So once that's succeeded, you can go back into your dashboard and click Open App. So that'll open the application now, so you can see it's available online. So that's good. Uh, if we then want to make a change to this, So if I go into app.js, and what I'm going to do is go into my Roku dashboard to the home page. I'll put that in as the link, paste that in. So my Roku dashboard. Save that and back 
in the terminal. I'll do a git add, uh, git commit. So I'll change to link, and then another push. Okay, so once that's been deployed, go back in. Uh, just refresh that. And you can see the change has been reflected. I click that and then the dashboard opens. Okay, th thanks for watching. If you have any questions, uh, just put them in the comments and uh, I'll hopefully get back to you. Thanks again.